Hey guys, it's PJ Pressure Washing Lawn Care and Handyman Services again. And I'm going to show you uh, another part of the project on the bathtub that I've been working on. Uh, it's been kind of cool and that, so, you know, I ain't had much of a chance to work on it. I've been also busy with other jobs and things, so I'm just going to show you what I've done today so far and then I'm gonna I went ahead and sanded it as you can see it's kind of a light color and I sand it all inside the tub and that and then what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna wipe it out using some 50% uh, you know alcohol and that uh, you know to like clean it out and that but first I'm gonna vacuum it and then once I vacuum it then I can wipe it down get all the you know uh, little particles and that because if you don't uh, you know I mean it'll peel up later and if you use the alcohol it actually instead of it staying wet for a long time it helps it dry faster you know on after you wipe it down um so that's what i'm fixing to do next and i will do a video when i'm uh painting the uh flex seal in all right thank you hey guys this is uh pj pressure washing lawn care again uh fixing to do the uh wiping it down and that and i'm going to show y'all you know how that how that's going to work and um everything and I'm fixing to set it up where y'all can watch what I'm doing. <clears throat> Take a rag. <coughs> and uh, you just kind of douse that on there pretty good. And come in here and just wipe it all down. And this gets all the little dust particles that the vacuum is. No, I didn't uh, video me vacuuming because it's too loud with a shop vac. This here will get all the excess anything at the vacuum mess. Wipe it a couple times. And then grab another rag and just go over it again just kind of dry it up a little quicker than what just the alcohol does make sure we get this real good Then I'm fixing to start the painting process. Got to get the uh, stuff to do it with over here, wherever we put it. Do you know where the painting stuff is? Right there, right, right over here, right, no, in the middle, right, right there. Oh. I could see it looked like another piece of paper or something. All right, so here 
is the flex seal I'm fixing to put on here. It looks, yeah. See, that's a liquid. See, I've tried to, uh, before I tried the spray, but spray wasn't thick enough. It just kind of coated it. Take paintbrush out. I got a three inch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a line at the back and start painting my way from here to wherever it stops, you know. And then pour another line beside it and work my way. And it says to not shake it. So don't shake it wherever you do. Okay, I'm going to stir it with this screwdriver because that's what I've got. I didn't get a mixing stick, so paint stick, so I'm going to have to use this. But they said that you can dip them, dip your screwdrivers and stuff in it, so. Getting thick, starting to get thick. Go back the other way a little bit, make sure there ain't no loose stuff in the bottom. It didn't say how long to uh, stir, so I'm just stirring as long as I figure. Seems like it's getting even more thicker as I stir it, so that's a good thing. Use the brush and knock that off. Still a little loose there, but hmm. all right, pull the can top out, get it out of the way. Pour the line. Uh, use my other hand. Pour a line. Can here.
keep it kind of thick so that way it's not gonna cause a problem later now why I'm getting that again stir it again because it says to stir it once in a while while you're working with it so That's what we're gonna do. Oh, it's dripping still. But the drips ain't gonna hurt nothing. Alright, go ahead and pour some more out. Feels like it's starting to get pretty hard to paint down. and paint this while I'm dripping the can. the video cut off on me on the last uh, half of painting it and this is what it looks like now it's just like that I mean it's not even or nothing like that on the sides but it's just to hold the water from going through the tub so I mean I think we're good with that and uh, I will have another video on after it dries and the testing um, we will see what it looks like and how it holds up that should be in uh, 24 48 hours um, and that I'll probably give it like a couple of days like two or three days maybe uh, just in that way it seals up very very well 
and um, then we shall look at it and see what happens then. Okay, here it is. As you can tell, it's it still looks wet, <laughs> but it's not wet. It's dry. See, it's pretty well dry, real dry. Don't look like it's going to peel up or anything, so that's good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on some water and make sure it showers off so we don't get this wet. Look at that. You can see the yellow out of the water coming out. It ain't been running back here in a while. Look at that. And look at how it's got more of a hump there to hold it from pulling it to this side. Slick, but that is okay because I'm going to um, put them. We're going to put a mat in here, you know, so it ain't slick. Okay, so back to what I was talking about is, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put a mat in here, which we got in there you know, a non-slip mat, and it will hold it from, you know, being, see, I like the way it stays beaded up, and it doesn't, uh, <laughs> sit in the tub, that's pretty cool, because you can just wipe it right out, and, uh, clean it, look inside the drain there, it needs cleaned out, and eventually on next project what i'm going to probably do is i'm going to clean all this yes it's got that mold it's hard to get off though because it's just mildew um if you have any ideas of what to get that off with just let me know um <clears throat> but yeah eventually i'm going to go ahead and put this all the way up to there and then later on bring it on up you know up to the very top up there and then that way it'll you know have that protection to it all right well thank you guys for watching and uh i have a pressure washing job coming up so uh, they, I just got, uh, the guy stopped me about it today. I will go on about it here in a few when I edit this video and put this one on. I'll put the next one on. Alright, talk to you later.